Hi guys, my name is Chai and I'm Jade and welcome to the YouTube channel aka the vlog aka the life of Chai where Jade and I share stories about our life in Halifax, Nova Scotia, what it's like living in Halifax, Nova Scotia and some notes about our own experiences as immigrants to Canada. Um, we did apply separate um, applications for permanent residence and we're going to be sharing those notes here on this channel um, and the last um speaking of channel the last video that we posted was in november 2020 that was a long 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 time ago crazy crazy times um what did you remember about that trip uh i think we rented a car mm -hmm. and we got an upgrade we went to cape breton and uh what did we do oh we did whale watch yeah yeah it was an amazing trip. I mean, it was like a two day, two day or one day. I think so. Yeah. I think it was. It was a short one, so uh -huh. probably we'll we'll be back there. Mhm, mm mhm, mm for sure, for sure. Um, yeah. Um, <clears throat> so if you probably missed that video, never seen that video, it is on this channel. Um, it did feature our trip to Cape Breton, where she remembers most of the trip. I just remember much, much about the car that we got because it was a free rental upgrade and um, just a travel hack, just a hack that we we learned um, after a couple of tries. Um, getting free rental upgrades is possible um, with a favorite dealership when you find out what those hacks are. Um, and I think I did share how I got that hack on that on that last last video from 2020. Speaking of 2020, I can't believe it's been that that long. Um, 2021 was a crazy year. I I do feel it was only a week. Like 2021 is a bit one big fat week for me. Um, what did you think about 2021? Well, definitely it was also um, fast. It went by fast for me. Um, I started um, pursuing my CPA, my CPA license here. And then I also got a new job, and basically it was all about that. Um, yeah, it was really, really fast. Yeah, and I mean, um, 2020 was the year that we moved to Canada. Um, it was, it was a pandemic that we moved. Yeah. So, a lot of things were shut down for some time. Halifax, Nova Scotia was on lockdown just to the province was trying to start out, figure out, and the rest of the world was trying to figure out how to control the numbers. Um, that was just going through the population. Um, obviously, because we just moved, when when offices were closed, we did see some delays. For example, Service Canada was closed when we moved here, when we landed, and so we saw some delays in our same application yeah our social insurance number that the, um, the application took a while to get processed um, that resulted to um, us getting jobs quite late mm -hmm. yeah. um, relatively late I mean it wasn't super super we didn't have to wait like for a very very long time but um, the idea for us before we flew was that um, we'd be able to apply for jobs right away mm -hmm. um, we yeah. didn't um, because employers needed that um, social insurance number for the reference. Um, so we didn't see that. At the same time, my permanent residence card did take a while as well. Um, so that was 2020, really. It's just like on top Setting of... Setting up yourself. Yeah. Finding your home. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Finding a job. Yeah. And um, plus pandemic, like pandemic adjustments. So it's just one on top of the other mm -hmm. it's yeah. it's crazy so 2021 was us actually setting down and trying to figure out things like 
okay, we're here. We got this, this, and this in place. So what's next, right? Um, so basically, 2021 just took us. <laughs> it was exciting though. I mean, mm -hmm. learn to survive. Like for me, it, it, it was my first time um, moving mm -hmm. to another place. Mm -hmm. So I was lucky because I, I came here with Chai, but technically, you know, if you don't know how to, <laughs> you don't know how to work for yourself, and you don't know, um, you, you're still like exploring the things here. So it was a bit difficult, if I might say. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, yeah, and and for sure, it's like, <clears throat> like having, and I guess that's one of the reasons why um, this vlog is here. It's. Um, one of the goals for it is to be a companion, so to speak. Mm -hmm. We're really yeah. very, very new to Canada, which really moved. And we moved in the middle of the pandemic. And without these people who we have met ourselves and um, we have touched base with, um, who have helped us along the way, helped us cope, who have helped us adjust, helped us with their tips. Um, it would have been a very lonely adjustment process, I would say. Um, and I, yeah, and I say, like, like Jay said, like, it's we're fortunate that we move together and so like she has a companion and it's like things are different like yesterday we had a snowstorm and she was crossing the street her eyes shut <laughs> <'Cause> the ice... <laughs> i didn't hear we were on the street <laughs> until a child was saying to move fast and i said i don't care and then oh we're in the middle of the street so yeah i mean fun. like like getting pelted by ice in the middle of the storm <laughs> that is something that you wouldn't do with your eyes shut but you would probably do if you were um with somebody <laughs> so that was jane <laughs> during the snowstorm but yeah like that like probably an analogy right um uh moving moving countries can be hard mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. when you're just doing it for the first time i did live in japan for a while and um so I did learn those ropes um, quite before Jay did, but Jade's like uh, newbie. a newbie to the newbie. outside world. Um, <laughs> so yeah, like really the the having companions, making making friends, um, they've they've been key to to helping us adjust. And that being said, like it has also opened like our eyes and cast a wider perspective to how we understand and how we appreciate like the different experiences of immigrants to Canada and um, um, so that's another thing that we're going to be sharing here is their stories as well and their insights as well um, it's just really understanding the how 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 enormous of a life change people go through um, to achieve their goals um, whether it's it's just a dream to move outside whether it's just um, hoping for a better life so to speak um like we have different different reasons why we move and at mm -hmm. the same time it makes sense that we do also go through different experiences of the immigration process um so we have met um some people who moved to canada or to through the atlantic um through the aipp program um and then we have met others who have gone through the student pathway program mm -hmm. um others possibly the caregiver pathway and stuff like that and and jade's and my applications were none of those right mm -hmm. so um i did apply through express entry and that's just right away mm -hmm. um and i did it um backwards kind of backwards i went through the provincial nominee program so it it's a bit um different mm -hmm. so every path is different and probably you know hearing other other people's um, experiences and their perspectives they would also like help you to know your own strengths and weaknesses and how you can play on that so yeah it's a very very important um uh, factor on choosing the program so i think that's that's one of the main goals of of chai of, of sharing this of sharing her experiences and and letting other and letting you know i mean um others experiences as well so if ever you want to move not in particular here you'd be able to gauge yourself and you know what 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 what, what, what would really um suit you so yeah, it's really about playing your cards right. I mean, yeah. it's it's 
it's not to beat ourselves up for decisions that we didn't make before mm -hmm. or whatever that wasn't done for us and stuff like that it's really really not it's about the now and the goals that you want to achieve in the future and um and if you if you can find some value in other people's experiences mm -hmm. as well some of their notes some of their insights some of their probably their opinions even um and and you definitely not have to not have to take them all in and say oh this person said this this person said that it's all going to boil, boil down to what what's best for you right mm -hmm. like I agree um that's really you just know it. yeah <laughs> others uh, i mean for others it might work but for you it might be different so it's learn it's really about learning learning yourself you uh, are learning what what you really want and how you can make use of your strengths yeah it's that's really all of it and um hopefully this channel helps you have uh, figure it out whether it's for inspiration or motivation or, or just, just daily, um, daily, yeah. <laughs> daily stuff um but it's like living halifax um and um yeah and speaking, of living in, speaking about speaking about living in halifax um we do have our instagram account it's called hobbits of halifax it's about adventures and misadventures about people standing less than five foot two we are very short so if you see us around walking around down to halifax say hi if that you feel that's a little bit too stalkerish just follow us on instagram that also definitely works so what are your goals for 2022 jade um i don't know ah uh, i can't really tell but probably something about my CPA license here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. um, that's something that I'm, I'm really looking forward to work on. Mm -hmm. I've started in 20, 2021, first, first quarter of 2021, but mm -hmm. um, still uh, there's a lot to consider if, um, if I would like to pursue it or not. And that being said, I think that's also um, like hearing other people's perspective. Yeah, again, some might work for them. Um, to have a CPA license here, some may not, but yeah, this is probably something that I would want to work uh, on 2022 and also um, our driving, our, our, our driver's license. Well, technically we have our restricted license back in 2020, but um, we want to take the road test, I think. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. That's on our list. I mean, it's it, it sucks getting stuck. Like, Mm. Um, getting buried in a snowstorm like we did <laughs> yesterday. It's not too not bad. Not have any car, slipping and sliding down the slippery slopes of Halifax. I mean, yeah, our, where, where we are in Halifax, it's pretty hilly. So we found out yesterday when it snows and it rains and um and snow turns to ice and it gets glassy it's slippery and uh, it's fun in the snow it's not so fun stepping on ice so <laughs> um, just maybe if we got a car yeah jade just fell today i wish i had a video she was so <laughs> <laughs> was so independent i was shouting yeah um, we didn't we didn't get a video um as for me it's really finding more about immigration it's it's just my thing it's just really my thing and you you could see my passion when when if you do get, get a chance to talk to me and ask me about stuff and share some notes with you um do i plan to be an immigration consultant uh, we'll see we'll see um as for now i'm still enough of an advocate for diy immigrate diy immigration do you do it yourself um so 2022 more content more being helpful um like um yeah just just send us a message send us a dm anything like that um and if you do like the content if you just like seeing jade or i around or if you are wondering if i do really have a bracket taken off <laughs> for my braces i do i lost two i'm still on the wait list um for my dentist the orthodontist to get me but for like the entire setup getting removed um maybe gonna share that on this vlog and stuff like that you know just normal halifax doing halifax things favorite restaurant um mostly favorite restaurants on that on that uh, instagram 
but yeah this 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 um video has gone for too long <laughs> but we just really want to check in say hi we're still here we didn't get burned in the snowstorm yesterday we are still alive um and we do hope that you you do follow us if you'd like not on the street probably on instagram hobbit of <laughs> halifax i do have a Love. website yeah, where i have some notes yeah that's chaipuyo.com i do have my own instagram account that's uh, Chai Puyod. I don't know. Chai, uh, Jade would like more followers. Uh, probably. I, I'm a very private person. Yeah, so. she's a very private it's, person. So just find me. Go. You're going to find me. You're going to find her if you yeah, find but, me. That's... Yeah. Anytime you can add, <laughs> just message me or message Chai. I'd be happy to help you. Yeah. Don't freak her out. She's, she's yeah, just easily don't... freaked out. So. No. Um, <laughs> yeah, so thank you very much for staying until the end. Thank you so much for visiting the vlog. If you're new, hi. If you're, you've been around, hi again. Um, and yeah, we will see you in the next video. Thank you.